Okay, but you still want to skip this. I know, I'm just saying, some of it is spoilers. That's how it goes. Hello, Mizuno! Oh. oh. Dude, you don't have to hurt us that way. I was saying hello to the dead girl. I see dead people. They don't know they're dead. Ah, I think she knows she's dead. I mean... Is that the face of a person who knows they're dead? Probably when she was in that bathroom, uh, with her broken wrist, and he was banging on the door, she knew she was dead, so... Okay, so no one's dead yet, because no one dies in Danganronpa, well, besides Mizuno and Leon and Junko, but, you know, they don't count. No one dies in Danganronpa. On the inside, they do. I mean... What if they were already dead? Oh my, one more? I mean, slowly, Aoi is not doing so well, so... Who? Aoi Asahina. She- Hina's great! What the fuck are you talking about? Well, I've seen some moments where she was dead on the inside. She's fine. Inside step. Ah, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, where the fuck we going? I don't really remember. Maybe try, yeah, the dining hall for breakfast. I was gonna say that. I went to breakfast meeting the same as always, but... Please never say but. Is that everyone? It feels a little small. Byakia and Toko had stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even the table looks bigger somehow. Oh, shit. Yep. I assume that's because three people are dead and two are abstaining? Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Hmm. Still, I know Biaki is whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Toko? For serious? <laughs> How can you be so called? You're like a piece of rock candy. Is it not good what? at all? No, rock candy, candy is isn't cold, it's sweet! Anyway, Biaki has the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. We got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that's Hot. going a little overboard. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's just like when we were kids and someone did the craziest sports day or whatever. What? What the fuck are you talking about? You can use the rope to do tug of war or something, idiot. I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot! Who are you calling stupid? Huh? What's wrong, Chiro? You don't look so great. Oh. Oh, I'm just going through a little self loathing. Dude. Huh? Self loathing. Well, after what Biaku you said to me yesterday. I just got so nervous I locked up, and I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out, and even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Oh, I... I hate how weak I am. Oh. I see, so Mondo made you depressed. <laughs> oh well, you're Mondo depressed. Why? What? How is it my fault? I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? Are you crying? It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Hey, come on. Come on, don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Huh? Just shut up. What? I got it. I'll make you what? a promise as a man. Huh? Promise? As a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my older brother told me over and over again. He said no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Um, left you? Oh yeah, my brother's dead. Oh, I see. 
true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't make me. Don't want to make you guys all go and cry. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise. You don't gotta cry anymore. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Sure. But, but I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um, no, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. Just smash cut in that character from Pokemon Sword and Shield who just looks like a little kid but is also like five feet tall and super buff. But Chihiro's dead. In that case, I would be happy to help you out anytime. Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces! Just a second! Shut up, you! <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, thank you. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man. If we keep helping each other. Man? <laughs> if we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get some out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. So our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand these two better? Okay, so... What should I do today? Well, we're at free time. Check your menu. Who were we hanging out with? I think we were hanging out with Les. Or are oh. we done with Chihiro? We're, we'll check. Report card. Yeah. Okay, no, we weren't done. Oh. Doesn't look like we hang out we hung out with her at all. Yeah, we had done this during the previous thing. We had hung out with her, but I think we'd only hung out with her once or twice and we never got an event thing. I don't know. Alright, go find her. That's how you fast travel. I remembered it eventually. Well, I don't. I never knew how to do it on that. So yeah. I figured it out eventually. Um, I, mean, I would imagine she'd be in here, right? Nope, no. I was wrong. Well, just check the map. It'll tell you. She's not here on the yeah. floor. Well, in the pool area. Yeah, I know. Got that. She's out here in the hallway then. There she is. How much, how much relationship do we have with her anyway? This should be our first event right now. No, I know, but like, you know how we have the five? How many do we have? The five? Is this the first one? Yeah, because it, it makes like... Do you mean, like, pages? What are you talking about? I might be thinking of a mechanic that's not introduced till after this game. Yeah. Which is, uh, helps you keep track of them much more easily, but, uh... Yeah. Because I don't remember... How many times have we hung out with her? Uh, two or three. Okay, so we want to give her love gifts. Yes. I remember us looking for those. Yeah, we have love gifts. So, I'm just gonna need you okay, to yeah. cover that side of things because I don't want to fool you. Yeah, got it. Okay. Hello there. Aw, oh, so sweet. Hello there, Makoto. <laughs> How nice to see you here. Should I hang out with you here for a while? Not to press, don't care. Tell her to fuck off. Yay. Where's that option? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yay, I really like talking to you. I spent some time talking with Chihiro. 
Jihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you have to give a present? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. <sighs> Look for item 21. What's the name? Uh, Blueberry perfume. We have that. Right there. Yeah. yeah give that. So these are a love gift? Yay. Yeah. Also, if you read the description of that item after this... Okay. I'll take really good care of it. I'll hold on to it forever. Seeing Chihiro so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Mm, no. No! What's wrong, Chihiro? Um... It hurts. Did you get hurt, Chihiro? You know? Well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. If I hate mosquito bites, they're itchy. Mosquito? Oh, I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt. Huh? Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? Sorry. Sorry. That was me, no, bitch. For some reason, I thought I was apologizing for. Mm -hmm. You don't have to apologize, it was my own fault. But you said it hurts? Did it really bite you that hard? Um. Yeah, see, look. She had her arm, the huge red bump stood out clearly against her pale skin. Holy cow! What should I do? It's way past itchy now. It really You're hurts. You're probably getting an infection at that point. You need to open it up. You need a little smally. Release anything that's in there, and then clean it properly. Why does it get so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? You're wrong. Oh no, I was awake. What? But you didn't notice? Mm, no, I noticed, but. But what? You know. Well, I felt it bite me, and I looked down at it, but I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. You just watched. Why didn't you smack it? Huh? Because that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but... You know, it must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. Cheers probably in the vampires, right? Okay. Well, mood. But also, no. The only- I'm, I'm pretty sure the only mosquitoes that take blood are mother mosquitoes who take it to their young. So mosquitoes don't actually even eat the blood. So... If it was that hungry, it would have been really sad not to let it have anything. I don't know about that, and I don't want to say you're wrong, but I also want to say you're full of shit just because I hate mosquitoes. But it's just a mosquito. Um... Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have its own mosquito family. Sorry, I know that's dumb. I killed them. Not just the men men skeeto either. The women's okay. skeeto and the children's skeeto too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, shut up, Anakin. <laughs> no, really, you don't have to apologize. But don't get with scratching, okay? That'll just make things worse. But, but what if it gets so itchy I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the bump. That'll huh? help. Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> You're so smart, Makoto. As she said that, she smelled like a tiny, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. If so, that's a whole other level scary. Mm. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? Oh, well, what is? You know? Well, the school's completely sealed off, right? So how do mosquito get in? <laughs> Maybe there's somewhere here in the school where bugs can live and grow. Some kind of nature -y spot. The nature -y place in the school? Well, I can't say for sure that there's not. Uh, I mean, well, even if there is... I don't think someone's going to live long enough to see it. Or, 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 maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. A secret passage? Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somewhere. Somehow. As long as we will all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right. Working together is super important. But... Of course, I don't... I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. You weigh like 80 pounds, girl. It's not gonna be that much of a difference. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help. Oh my god. Makoto just called her fat. Oh my god. It does? Really? Yep, so let's all do our best, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Makoto. Report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go! Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. So that I could do it all again. 
Yes. Do it again. Find her again. Where did you find her last time? She was on the second floor of the school. She'll probably be over in this building this time. Who's in the bathroom? I wonder. Why are you in the bathroom, Hafubi? Jesus of shit. I guess. What if- Why- We just go into the bathroom, we're like, Hey, Hafubi, you wanna hang out? And he's like, I'm- I'm taking a dump. We're like, so is that a yes? No! Gabe, we don't wanna hang out with Hafubi! What are you- I'm, I'm just curious what he says. <laughs> okay, I regret this. <laughs> Regret! <laughs> Press for regret! I mean, you gotta go through with it now, so yeah, like... Yeah, it was- I was getting Blair off me. She was, like, right in front of me so I can even read. Have you ever experienced it? The sweltering heat of the summer cons? The frigid cold of the winter cons? So we do the creative product that will satisfy the brain- the brave fans who suffer for their passion. I don't have time to be cooped up in a place like this. You're in the bathroom, Hafumi. You're making yourself even more cooped up. I, I actually really like the shadow effect here. Yeah, they all have it. Um, yeah, I know. I just really like that. What's wrong? Did you need something? Hmm, should I hang out to your for a while? Yes. <laughs> you want to sit down and talk for a while? I spent some time talking with Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Yes. Yes. So, so this is no. Um, we're gonna go down to like number forty. So keep going. No. Very popular with men these days, but to be honest, although <clears> it does attract the ladies, most guys hate the smell. Yeah. Okay. Men. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Oop. Down one. It's that camera. She's the only one that loves that camera, and Hero likes it for some reason. Uh, ghost camera. Spirit camera. Camera meant to take oh. pictures of electrical fields surrounding objects. Sadly, there's How no the film in it. What the fuck does Jahiro like? Jahiro? Uh, electrical fields. I guess. It's a techie right. thing. But, Give it you know, it's supernatural as well. A present? Yay! Thank you so much! Seeing Chihiro so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Blair, why the hell are you in front of me? Aww. Kitty, move. What's wrong? They seemed like a that seemed like a pretty heavy sign. You know? Oh, sorry. It's just everyone else is working so hard to get us out of here, but I'm no help at all. That's not true at all. But... It's okay, you don't have to try and make me feel better, I know it's the truth. Zooms in on that sun in the top left corner. I'm completely useless without a computer in front of me. So let's go get you a computer, I know where to find one. At least if I were a little stronger or something, then I'd be able to help somehow. Listen, you'll get your chance. I'm sure there will be a time when your skills will come in handy. So you don't have to worry so much anymore. Huh? My skills might come in handy? <laughs> if I get a chance, I'm gonna work super hard to tip in when it comes to computers. You can count on me. You're right about that. No matter what anyone say says, you are still the ultimate programmer. Speaking of which, how did you get into programming? Huh? Huh? Well, I mean, I always assumed most programmers were guys, so... Is it really that weird? No, nothing like that. I was just curious what got you interested in it. I mean, why programming of all things? You know? Why? Do it again. Better voice. What? Yellow voice. Okay. What? Yellow voice. Why? <laughs> I mean, there isn't much of a reason. You didn't do it last time, though, when it said she was the ultimate programmer, so fuck you. Yeah, I, I fucked up. I realized it after I've said I've always it. been kind of weak, you know? I was never able to run around with my friends or anything. We had a computer at home, so I'd kill time poking around with it. And I found out I really liked it. Um, my dad was a software engineer, and he had a bunch of programs on there that he'd built. 
So I found one of them and started playing around with it, adding stuff here and there. And that was how I ended up making my very first program. Interesting. What kind of program was it? Um, a kind of database software. Er, shit. Database software! Database software? You know? A user could communicate with it and it would take that information and find what they were looking for. It was a way of interacting with the computer without having to physically type things out. She said it could understand the user without them having to type things out. So that would have to be voice recognition. Telekinesis! Telekinesis! <laughs> yeah, voice recognition. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not sure you're talking Telekinesis! Telekinesis! We're not the dumbass. Damn it. We're not Yasuhiro? Yeah. You used voice recognition, is that it? <laughs> yep, exactly! You could talk to it, and it could actually talk back. It was a lot of fun. It didn't even really sound like me. I would get totally absorbed in talking to it. It's like a kid recording themselves and playing it back again. Um, the key part of the program was getting it to recognize what I was saying. The recognition accuracy was the most important thing. Japanese is kind of hard, so it was pretty challenging. But you were able to do it eventually? You're right. Yep, and right around then, my dad found out I'd messed with his software without permission. I thought I was going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> but all he said was how IMPRESSED he was. The software was able to take natural speech and pull out key search terms to receive information. Retrieve. Retrieve information. My dad said it worked so well it was going to change the face of software interaction all over the world. Yeah. The development costs are still pretty expensive, so it hasn't spread that much yet, but... Anyway, I've been addicted to programming ever since. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy it made me to be able to make other make others happy. It's obvious how much you love computers. You seem to just light up when we start talking with them. Light up the world like nobody else. Ah, sorry, I spent all this time just talking about myself. No, I had a lot of fun learning more about you. Huh? Huh? Really? Yep, I hope you tell me even more next time. <laughs> uh, okay, let's hang out again sometime. It's a promise, okay. It's a promise, okay? Sharon's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked this skill algorithm. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. I part ways to cheer and went back to my room. So, I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. Dude. Look at look at your hero's thing. Oh, yeah. That's fine. We can do this. I just want to see how many sh we have. Three. Okay. I'm just trying to find out how many she has altogether, because I think mine's not only had a few because she died so soon. But I think most people have at least five. All right, you're good. You can keep going. So, food time instead of going to bed. You're a naughty chick. Okay, so we have two more for Jahiro. I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no, I guess I'm already roped in. Listen to me! Hey Makoto! Perfect timing! Huh? What's going on? Hey, damn it! Have a favor to ask! A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Listen to me! You came at just the right time! I must ask you for your full cooperation! I'm pretty sure this is the special event we got because of the item you have. So. Cool. <laughs> hey, damn it! Come on, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. Oh. Witness? To what? What? This guy's been talking shit about me ever since day one. Calling me a coward and shit like that. You're corrupt! You are a coward! That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems! But not... How... God! Like... 
I really don't think weed is good for horses. Because God, they already want a high horse right now. That's why you can't do what society asks of you! Why you walk around dressed like that! Huh? What the fuck you say? Yeah. You didn't know shit. You hear me? You've already lost to yourself! And you're such a coward you don't even realize it! Damn you! So what you're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me! I know I am! You wanna okay, then let's throw down. Prove you've got what I don't got. You hear me? I accept your challenge! What? So what's happened, Makoto? You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down. You're not gonna like start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a salon inside? I see. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? Got We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest! Am I right? Piece of shit! God damn straight. Also, I was wrong. This is just regular story shit. The scene isn't coming up yet. I like how the shadows were there before, though. Yep, same. Are you guys... Oh, wait. Are you guys gonna go through with this? Shit, yeah. He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are, without exception, all talk. You wanna throw down? Bring it on. Forget, 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 forget. Beam! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting. You son of a We're gonna bitch. battle with all of our clothes on. God, I hope so. Ridiculous. That's idiotic. Suicidal. You wanna fight? What are you afraid? You're gonna regret this. Shut up and let's do this. Hey, I like how he does not have his clothes on. Ishimaru was like, nah. Yeah. Mm -mm, not gonna do that. Also, he's low key. Fit as fuck, bro. Look at that, bro. I mean, For the are. moral compass, bro, he be working out, bro. Are you, are you kidding me? The moral compass is probably up, up at like 4 a.m. every morning doing like a 10 kilometer jog. That's wild. Well, he doesn't need to be that buff to be the moral compass, but damn, he is. Yeah, he's a true moral compass will always be on the right, which means that he takes every right turn on his way to school. So his, his journey is a really long one. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? It just so happens, I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good, I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soap right now. Y'all bugging. Are they okay? No. I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed, then a few dozen minutes, then an hour. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. <laughs> <laughs> Mondo gets it. Uh, this is, mistakes have been made this day. Hey, uh, guys. I know you both want to prove how big and badasses you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Shut up. Uh, I just can't win. Bing bong. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Okay, the game. The dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. So, you know how you were confused how Mizuna would have gone to the thing at yes. night and how Aoi and them would have been there? Well, based on the games, like what we've seen, it's technically nighttime before it's officially nighttime. So, they probably were there before 10 because. 1 a.m. was as, when the murder took place. Yeah, I know. But Mizuno probably went and got the knife earlier than that. 
But so, it, the, the thing I was confused about is the fact that they say around the time of the murder, aka 1 a.m., they were in the dining hall. That didn't make any sense. I don't. I don't different. think they do say that. They, I don't. No, I think they just say at nighttime, but no. it's not like 10 p.m. nighttime. They, they said around that time we were in the dining hall. And we were both there, Don't like corroborating. Okay. Um, okay. Moving on. My confusion here is that the moral compass doesn't care it's nighttime, even though we all agreed not to go out at nighttime. Just saying. If he wasn't so that far gone, like we should be concerned at this point. Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win. Or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. Listen so as the moral compass, do you think Ishitake is ever going to commit murder? Ishimaru, sorry. Bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. I want to say no, but I, I also know. I also don't know. Um, okay. I didn't expect what was happening this trial. Like, the reasoning behind it. So, you what know. You that uh, uh, Another time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Think it's a hell? That's not a good place to push someone. This isn't good, guys. Huh. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl on your back to your room. Oh, you know it went out went in the morning. <sighs> then you can start spreading my... Legend. legend. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning... You'll fall down right in front of me, down on your knees. I'm what? sure you hurt. <laughs> Don't make it a little easy to make they talk from someone whose face is about to explode. Ooh. Right Ooh. back at ya. Okay, well, good night then. Yeah, I believe you at that point. I really hope those two don't overdo it, but I'm sure to the death. No, surely they wouldn't go that far. What happens if people die not at all through someone else's means? Like, if two people were to, uh, get themselves killed in Asana? Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. The concern stained with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. Monokuma Theater. If fate does exist, does that mean your futures decide the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as your final as your final as your past? I just don't but know. I'm still alive because I don't know. That's why I desperately cling to life. Bing bong. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Morning, huh? How Mondo and Taka survived. <laughs> yeah. We go to the sauna, they're both fucking dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> we just look over at Monokuma, and he's like, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Like, there's no trial for that, right? <laughs> Somebody kills himself, there's no trial, right? <laughs> worried, I, worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered, it was a bloodbath. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? I love this. What the? Romance of the century. Hey, Makoto. Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are they friends now? They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? Feels gross? Hell no. Feels great more like. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Same. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't understand her manly bond. You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand what blood feels like. What you just said, bro? That was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Doubt, no, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. 
So, um, who won the contest? Who gives a shit? Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is. I see. The... What oh? the? You good, bro? What happened? French, you skipped them? I... Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Um. Because I am very used to girls. There was a way to do that, right? There was? I think it. Well, again, I know keyboard. I don't. It says search at the top, but it doesn't show conversation. This game's dumb. Uh, yeah, for real. Got it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, yeah, turn out stupid questions! That's what matters! Is what we both took part in it together! That's completely different from what you were saying last night. Uh? Yeah, okay. I don't know what- I think my X button was held down again. It gets stuck now. Mm. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mono and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. Oh, no, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go get this bitch. How fucking dare you? Who the fuck is interrupting my fucking free time? Kill him. Hmm? Kill him. <laughs> Who could that be? Kill him. One who would come to visit, I opened the door. No one ties in Dungan Ropa. And someone forced their way in. Someone's about to, because I'm a fucking Merka bitch. Oh. Oh, never mind, it's Toko. It's my wife. It's okay. <laughs> I love you. Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really get annoying? I forgot it was Nugget. <laughs> well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so it makes it okay. Okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. I have a favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. <laughs> is this my chance? And where is it you want to go? Well, well, your library. Library! <laughs> huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakugan? Byakugan. He spends all of his day in the library anyway. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? Just ask me a secret! I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> let's go to the library! Okay, I got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? Quiet, but be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and was gently crept in the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakugan was there, by himself, absorbed in the book. Where does he keep getting cups of coffee? I honestly, at this point, just assume it's an empty cup. <laughs> What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. I actually like her actual voice. Oh, but okay, not really? like like when actually talking, not just like the Kah! kind of things that they do. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. Give me a second. We just go over here. Yeah, I know, but every time I've tried to go what, in here in the past. What are you doing over there? I go you go and talk to him. I think we can't go in there until somebody has definitely not been murdered. Yeah. What the heck? Come on, just talk to him. I told you not just fucking Tucko. He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best put time to talk to him. Um, huh. What was I doing this voice? It was kind of it posh, was kind of. Yeah. It was kind of posh, kind of asshole. God, I don't remember how to do that voice. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? 
I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Of course. Now hurry up and leave. Hmm. And take her with you. Hey, um, Biakia? Remember how you said, don't be a woman, a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman dominated by a strong man? Not saying all that in the yelly voice. That's fine. I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. <laughs> Forgot about this. Get out. And go take a bath, you smell. <gasps> Don't make me repeat myself. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Okay. He really dug in just there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Bianca can't go that far. <laughs> he must be really concerned about me. Poor girl. She She's the kind who gets into a bad relationship and can't break up with them because it's because they care, quote unquote. Yep. Huh? He told me to take a bath and everything! He must really care about my well-being! <sighs> hey, Makota, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think we, Biaki and I would be good together? Well, now I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love! Okay... Because as soon as you realize your feelings, your love is born! That's how it works! Okay... Your mom might come a day when you understand. Maybe... Someday... Well, bye! <laughs> <laughs> Young love. Ugh. I would have never guessed you'd go for someone like him. Uh, but eager passion can always be scary. Sometimes, sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Yeah. Oh, okay, sudden, can I, I just go exhausted. talk to Tira now, please? Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Please tell me we didn't waste an entire segment of free time, right? I don't think so. Exactly. Okay. Okay. That was just the morning segment. Um, map. Uh, oh no, I think that did waste the first half segment, because normally they're in the school for the first half, I think. No, Gabe, it's the other way. Oh, I didn't nope, realize No, other way. Other way. What? You're the on warehouse. the house. Yes. Oh, the warehouse is so here? Warehouse. Yes. Okay, that's fucking weird. Also, did we never go to the warehouse before? We didn't go to the warehouse before. We forgot. Oh, well, you know. Here we are. I remember at the Look. end of the last Hi. thing. Everything's totally disorganized. Well, no, the warehouse became available yeah, after but, the last trial, so yeah. It's yeah, only been here for like two days. At the end of the last recording session, I brought up the fact we never went to the warehouse. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. Um, what's the weapon for that? Yeah, okay, so this is a separate. This one the moniker. The boxes there were also, yeah. Yeah. Everything. I think this is technically a different item than the one on the left. Alright, well, there was nothing in here. Yeah. No fucking useless. I wonder how that teddy bear actually operates. Could it be a robot with an AI installed in it? No, we don't have that technology yet. Maybe it's some kind of bear-shaped cyborg from the future. Should I hang out here for a while? Yeah. <laughs> you want to sit down and talk for a while? I spent some time talking with Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. 
Yes. All right. So. <sighs> ah, fuck. I made a mistake. I just accidentally deleted the fucking tab I was trying to click on. All right. Um. Troll shift T. That one. She loves this? Yes. Only her and Hafumi do. Okay. I don't know. Seems your hero's so pleased. Um, if you don't hate the idea, would you like to talk some more? Jeez, if there's anyone who can say no to somebody who asks like that, I'd like to meet him. I wouldn't. Sure, I'd love to learn more about you. Mm. Okay, but so what do you want to know? Let's see, what kind of program are you working on right now? I bet it's pretty amazing. You know? Oh, actually, I just started the research process for something. You remember the database software I told you about? I'm retooling it into something a little more complex. But I signed an NDA with the company that hired me, so I can't really go into details. We're literally in a killing game, Chihiro. If there's any time, it's now. Yeah, they probably wouldn't want the wrong people to hear about it, huh? Uh I'm sorry. It's not that I don't trust you or anything, I just made a promise, you know? Sorry. No, it's okay. It's my fault for asking something you couldn't talk about. Mm. Oh, but... Maybe I can give you a little hint. It operates on bear power. has to do with uh, simulating human thoughts. Shit has to do with simulating human thoughts, right? Which must mean artificial intelligence. Robotnik. You're developing some kind of artificial intelligence, aren't you? <laughs> ah, you figured it out! Was my hint too easy? Yes! What should I do? Oh, what am I gonna do if they find out I broke my promise? They might... Don't worry, I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Um, yeah, I, I know. I know I can trust you. Okay, I guess I can tell you about it. You know? I'm working on a type of artificial intelligence the world has never seen before. It's what we call strong AI. It's designed to think like a human to process any mental task we can. Actually, they're called smart AI, but yeah, sure, whatever. Smart AI? Um, you see, in the field of artificial intelligence, there's strong AI and weak AI. Weak AI isn't meant to match human intelligence, it's simply a type of problem-solving software. A weak AI isn't actually thinking, it's just executing actions programmed into it. And that's considered virtual intelligence versus artificial intelligence. Strong AI, on the other hand, is a program that can achieve true self-consciousness, full ego awareness. Mm. In other words, a strong AI is a complete entity, a computer program capable of becoming aware. But it's always been just a hypothesis. Plenty of experts don't even think it's even possible. It sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, and you're working on something like that? But... Well, like I said, right now I'm just researching it. I've made lots of progress on the programming side, and the intelligence development, mm. but when it comes to actual awareness, it's still a long way off. It might even be impossible. Really? You know? I'm not sure how to put it, but no matter how well designed or complex a program is, no matter how closely the software can simulate the workings of the human brain, I don't think that's enough. If the program is only simulating thought, it will always be lacking something. Lacking? Yeah. Well, I guess you could say a soul? If you could somehow pour your own soul into the software, maybe then a stray strong AI could be created. Wait, a soul? Mm, yeah, I know. 
It's not a programming term. I'm not even sure that would work on a technical level. How? Sorry. Forget I mentioned it. You know? Anyway, all I have right now is the theory. There's still lots of research left to do. Artificial intelligence sounds pretty tough, like a pretty tough subject, but I'm glad I got to hear about it. Um, I wasted your time on another boring topic. I must have bored you to death, huh? No, the complete opposite. It was really interesting. Huh? You mean it? Yay! Okay, next time we talk, I want to hear about you. Oh, well, unlike you, I really am boring. <laughs> no excuses. It's your turn next time. Okay. Well, once I chased a duck out of a pond or something like that? I don't remember the story, to be honest. It was really boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a crane, I think. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Yay! When she says it like that, I think the only way to refuse is if you're one of those soulless AI programs she mentioned. Damn, that's some robo Max racism there. Skill point. Okay. Robosism. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. <laughs>